I, mean, I used to come down here a lot to just practice street art stuff when I was younger. I grew up, um, I grew up watching stuff like Looney Tunes, like Tom and Jerry. I mean, I used to draw my own little comics of like kind of characters of my own that I did. So when I started getting into graffiti, I just started to like incorporate a lot of that stuff. And like, funny enough, I always used to say to myself, like, one day if I ever got a documentary filmed about this, I'm going to go to this spot and say this is where it all started and everything. And literally now it's happening right now. So, I mean, it's quite a surreal feeling in a sense. Years ago, um, we had this plan that we were going to go and try and uh, paint on that little gap there below the bridge. Once you've done that, it would have been the kind of thing where everyone would just walk by and just be like, wow, how did they get up there? And I mean, that's a whole big thing in graph. Like, if you've hit a spot and like no one, um, no one knows how you've got up there, you've, you've, do you've done your job that like, well. I've always, I've always loved drawing stuff, and it was, um, I, was not, I was never good at anything else. I was never good at anything at school, a lot of sport I was rubbish at as well. So this was kind of a thing that I could do. I could go outside and, like, and paint, and it was a very social activity. And it was also, as a kid, it was just a way of just getting, it was really fun, because I was, I was up for doing just anything where you get a bit of an adrenaline buzz. So I think even by the time I was 17, I kind of knew this was what I wanted to be doing for life, this kind of stuff. So I'm using flame spray paint and it's got a nice finish, cheap, but yeah, it absolutely stinks. The point of graffiti is it's basically Show, uh, just literally to like tell the world you're here. That's like, it's basically, it's, it's all showing off in a sense. But I mean, I like to do it because I, I love so many things, as I'm saying. I like to be able to go and pay, um, I like to have the freedom to go and put them out on the wall whether people like it or not. What's the deal with it on the train? Why have people do on the trains? Well, it's, 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 it's embedded into the culture from the very start. It was like in New York, they do it so they could see their name going by. You go and hit it and you'd see your name running across the city. Well, like if you lived in Brooklyn, you'd write on someone's work. They'd get the train would go all the way up to Harlem. Someone would write back and it'd just go back and forth. So it's, it's a very, it's the biggest thing in the culture. If you've hit a train in the graph scene, that's, that's, a, big, that's a big statement to make. When I was like, um, what's it? When I was a kid, uh, when I was like probably younger, when I was first learning how to just do all the hand styles with a spray can, I, I just went down here and just started just doing loads of lines, just from like far to close, really quick to get the experiment. I, I mean, I obliterated the whole place, and it probably looked terrible for the next couple of months. It was just all these like silver lines crossing all these pillars for ages. You probably can find some even around here. Like, I wonder if I can even find like an old tag from somewhere back in the day. And stuff but it's, uh, it's always on those kind of creative things as well you always look at like old stuff you've done and then you just almost want to face palm how bad it is but I mean if, if you're looking back and it looks bad it or you think it looks bad you've obviously improved Other cities have not really got kind of culture like here where it's very much tolerated and people can just go straight into doing legal commission stuff. I mean, obviously, because uh, I grew up in the city, seeing a lot of actual kind of artwork 
I wanted to get into eventually doing more stuff with the art-based stuff. But if you'd grown up in another environment where people were just doing more the illegal stuff, like writing on trains, you very much have a different take on graffiti as well. I mean, if you're actually really into doing the train stuff and that's all you've done, you're going out to go and like, do all the illegal graffiti, you go and steal all your paint and you're only hitting trains, you're just not going to get this type of, um, like, this kind of art artwork here the more art style stuff, you just, it's just, you're not going to get it because you've just never really done that stuff. It's always been like that, really. I knew eventually I wanted to go into like doing more kind of like street art stuff, but I always kind of felt I had to have some, play some part in doing it, the original type of graph work. But I mean, actually in art school, they didn't like a lot of the graffiti style. They actually really hated some of it. Like my art teacher actually said, I hate that kind of stuff. So in some ways, it almost like have kind of, felt discouraging and I think they just need to be sometimes a bit more open to this kind of style of work because there's actually kind of now a market in this stuff, especially in this city. I remember some teacher like said to me when I was at UAL just like, oh yeah, I hate that, that is so Bristol. <laughs> I've gone to other cities before and they'll just say, oh, you're from Bristol, um, you graffiti. I went to New York and like people were already asking stuff about some of the graffiti artists I knew down here. And yeah, so it is, it's very much the identity of Bristol and I just don't think the city would be seen the same way if it wasn't for a lot of the uh, graph. It's a very sociable art form, which a lot of art forms are not. And I mean, especially when I was younger, just you know, the buzz of it. You just be at home, you get pissed up with your mates, and then you go out on a mad one around the city, and then just, just nothing could beat that. It's the freedom to just literally go anywhere you want and go and paint. Like, it's just like there's almost like no rules in that sense, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello. Hi mate, so hi, I'm Jack. My name's Sergio. Thanks for letting us have a, have a little look at your work. Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah. Just, uh, ignore me basically, that's okay. alright. Yeah, it's the perfect time because uh, just now I start with the line. Oh, it's sick. Yeah. Uh, do you ever watch other artists paint to learn like for yourself? Definitely, definitely. I, mean, I never had like a person teach me do it a lot of times, so a lot of it was just self-taught watching people. And that like most people learn? Pretty much. You only have to be quite motivated to do it. There's a lot of people in like the game who just like, they start it for a bit as a little hobby and then give up for it. Like, you really got to like kind of commit to it to be doing good stuff. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people who only do it for a couple of years and then just get out of the game. So this is a commission for this drawing I've done. They said they want to have that on the whole wall, which is real good. Are you happy that you're now able to turn your artwork into money? Absolutely. I mean, I feel like it just gets to a point sometimes where you actually, if you, like, you love what you're doing creatively, but sometimes if you really want to go far, you've got to find a way of making money from it as well. Some of the graffiti scene will see me as selling out, really, in some sense. But I mean, I want to kind of do things. I want to go places and do stuff. And, like, I feel if I'm just going out and hitting walls late at night, it's just not really ever going to get me anywhere, I feel, up to the point. I mean, I really want to feel I'm making a big... I, I, really, I want to feel I've made some mark with my art as well and done, like, a lot. And I mean, like, I probably was talking about all the stuff I was posting, like, in biodiversity, and, like, make, set a good example for kids from my background. Like, as I said, being a kid with ADHD and, like, had a terrible time in school, it just made me want to do more and go further with places. I just set a good example for my background. So that was one thing I always said to myself, like, 
always show that people like me can make it really and stuff like school may have told me like I'm never going to get anywhere but this kind of thing has got to prove them wrong really in a sense. I mean, the thing is, people are always going to be doing it illegally. Someone's always going to have that bunch of paint in the wall. People have been doing it since the Egyptian times. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's like, it's human nature, really, to go and want to put your mark on a wall.